In this video, I want to explain to you why you should be chasing uh, revenue and not per se profit uh, in the e-commerce model. Okay, I'm, I'm saying this specifically for if you are running e-commerce companies, physical product, for example, you're able to sell this asset, for example. Okay, I'm going to show you why. I'm going to go to, over to the whiteboard to explain to you as well why you should chase revenue at first. Okay, so let me go over to the whiteboard. Okay, and so in, in the e-com model, right, basically, you are running a business where you are, how do I say this? It can operate without you, okay? This, this Any business can be acquired in the future. So if you want to be worth, for example, like three to five million dollars net worth in the next three to five years, for example, right? And like, you really want to build a company that can uh, impact a lot of people. Sorry about this, my terrible drawing, but a lot of people, and they're extremely happy, you know? They're like, wow, this guy is really good. Uh, we really like your products, yay. Okay, so if that's the type of company that you want, right? Then you should definitely change revenue, not profit, purely because uh, top line growth is super, super important. Okay, once you get the money and once you get the uh, basically cash flow coming in, you'll be able to hire more people. You'll be able to uh, pour that money back into product development and ensuring that your customers are happy, customer service support, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but people don't understand that. Okay, the product business is a very capital intensive business. Okay, so you do need to actually focus on these things uh, to grow top line revenue. Okay, so let me show you why like revenue and not profit is, is important, right? So imagine you're running tons of ads here. Okay, and you're driving tons of traffic to your front end offer, right? In your front end offer, you're probably gonna be break even, okay? Or you're gonna be uh, like very uh, marginally above, above your break even ROAS, okay? So it's either you are, you are losing money on this product or uh, you are basically making very, very, very little money here. Okay, the reason why is because you're spending on ads, right? So you're gonna have, um, the, the margin is gonna be very, very tight here. Okay. However, if you're able to just break even here on the front end, for example, um, in the physical product business, right, on e-com side, you're gonna be able to collecting uh, collect email addresses over time. Okay. And so if you're driving uh, a lot a lot of traffic from ads and stuff, okay. So I'm just gonna put ads anywhere from uh, YouTube to Facebook to Google stuff like that, right? Then you should be able to drive tons of traffic to collect tons of email addresses. Okay. And if you ask any smart uh, business person in the world the most important thing your business owns is your email list, okay? Or your customer channel, basically, okay? And so the email list is super important purely because you do not have to pay for any sort of advertising in order to reach this audience right here. So I'll give you an example, right? I, I know a blogger uh, from Singapore, for example, and she does like uh, SEO content on her site, okay? And so over time, she has built up an email list of 40,000 people uh, in her audience, okay? She has barely spent anything on paid advertising on Facebook ads. And so this is actually quite a substantial amount considering that this is all organic, okay? However, all of these people like know, like, and trust her, okay? They LTR her, right? Which means that, hey, they're gonna be willing to buy from her over time or in the future, okay? And so, for example, if you spend tons of money to, to break even here, for example, you, do, you make zero dollars. Imagine the worst case scenario, right? You don't make any money at all, at all, okay? What have you gained in the process? Okay, you basically gain zero dollars, right? It's okay, we didn't lose anything, we didn't take L's here, but you've gained 40,000 people who potentially are gonna buy from you again, okay? And if 40,000 people, if we sell them a $49 product in the future, right, how many of them are gonna to take that amount, right? It's gonna be probably a lot of people, for example, okay? So like a lot of the times, um, people or like new newbies, noobs, okay? They play at this level. They, they play on the front end. They wanna make money here. Okay, they don't wanna make money on the back end. Okay, it, it either could be a few reasons, right? It's probably they don't even have a back end or they don't even know it, it exists. Okay, so probably don't have, right? Or don't don't even know, <laughs> don't even know, yes. Okay, so they, they don't know how to play it on this area here. Okay, so the, the, the concept of lifetime value is very important because imagine I spend, you know, I don't make any, any money here, right? But then I start, uh, retargeting these people, right? The cost to acquire uh, an additional sale here is significantly uh, lower than the cost to acquire a customer here, okay? This is a matter of fact, okay? And so the reason why you should always focus on chasing revenue, right? And not necessarily profit, right? Is because actually the health of your business, right? Is dependent on how much you bring forward here, okay? Imagine you can spend like uh, uh, something crazy, like for example, like 300K on the front end ads, right? And you gain back like 300K in revenue, Okay, and these 40,000 customers, right? Everything you sell to them on the back is pure profit. It's pure profit. Okay, so you, this, this is where the real money is made. And this is where, how do I say this? As the rising acquisition costs on Facebook and Google and stuff increase over time, right? Um, everybody who is not doing this, right, is going to get killed. Like, it's 1,000%. I see it already. 
okay, it's more, it's increasingly difficult to be break even on the front end. And it's, it's like, how do you say, it's very, very essential that you try to be, be break even and um, making money on the front end. But if you cannot write, then the worst case scenario is break even, okay? And so like, if people who do not do this, this part of the business, it, it's not gonna like bode well for you over time, purely because everyone is like, playing this game and you are here stuck on the low level and trying to sell like for example like $19, $29 stuff online, right? You're gonna get crushed. You're absolutely gonna get crushed. Like, okay. So how do I say this? There's so many things going on in business already. Okay, so you you really need to think about okay, what is my front end? What is my back end? Uh, how are we gonna how are we gonna monetize uh, when people actually come in? What is the customer journey like? Are we gonna sell product one for example? What is product two? Uh, you know how can we increase the amount that they spend here for example stuff like that? Okay. So, yeah, when, when you think about profit, right? When, when do you actually think about profit, okay? So you should think about profit when, for example, like you're three years into the business, okay? You have all your operations ready, which means that you probably already have like a media buyer, which means person running your ads, right? You have a team, you have a marketing team, you have a supply chain guy, probably like operations and stuff. Um, you have a manager. So you're not even in the business, which means that the, the, the company is making money without you even have, having to say anything or like do anything, okay? That is probably when you should start thinking about profit, okay? And the reason why is because, right, once this happens, right, it means that the business is, is a real business. Like everybody on the team, imagine I put team here, right? And this is you, okay? The team still makes money without you, which means that if someone comes in and says that, hey, I want to buy your business, right? They're gonna uh, buy anywhere from like, for example, a three to five X valuation. Okay, so imagine you're making a million dollars profit. They can buy it from you at three mil and five mil, for example. Okay, and so this is the game that you want to play. Okay, not not like like the game that is all about oh we're not making money here stuff like that. So every time I see, for example, in the Facebook groups where people are complaining about the ads not being profitable and stuff, I I really feel like um I don't think they understand this concept of the back end. Okay, the back end. This is sorry. This is the real shit here. This is like. Um, if you told me, right, you, I make zero dollars, for example, on the front end, and I, and I get this, I will take this every, every single day, all day, every day, because the, the relationship, okay, the relationship that the product uh, and the customer has formed with the business, right, is more important to me than anything, because in the future, I can sell them uh, other things that they might be interested in. Does that make sense? Okay, so hopefully this, okay, this is really messy, sorry. <laughs> okay, so yeah, but I, I hopefully, hopefully you understand uh, what all of this means. But people in the internet marketing space, right? Especially if you are, if you are watching this video at this point in seven minutes, and like you are a beginner to the space, right? You, everyone is going to tell you this. Everyone is going to tell you learn the new ad strategy, learn the new ads, ads, ads. Okay. But actually, ads, ads is just a, me, a medium, a channel to get to your customers. Okay. What's important is actually uh, not so much the ads. Okay. So hopefully this makes sense to you, and hopefully this uh, gives you some perspective of it. But I'm serious when I say I tell you this, right? The big boys, the big boys are doing this, okay? If you are still doing the this stuff here, right? You're gonna get crushed. Like serious, seriously gonna get crushed. And with like so many like algorithmic changes or like email spam or like, um, you know, every it seems like every single day there's like a fire somewhere in your business, right? Then you should definitely try considering doing this, okay? So, yeah. Okay, yep. Um, if you need help with your advertising and stuff, uh, I'll put some links in the description and hopefully if you want to book a call with us, uh, you can. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it from me and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video as well.